So in today's video, we will be looking at a trick to memorize all the mirror ray diagrams to help you on your exams. So let's look at the first part. Here we have a concave or a converging mirror. And there's gonna be six scenarios we're gonna be looking at, at where the object can be placed and where image will be formed with a converging mirror. And so this trick will help us memorize five of the six scenarios. So what we need to do is we need to draw a one at infinity, two in between infinity and two F, three at two F, four in between two F and F, and five at the focal point. And so what you wanna do next is you wanna draw a one underneath the focal point, a two in between our two F and F, a three at two F, a four in between infinity and two F, and a five at infinity. And so the numbers on the top represent where we will place our object. And the numbers at the bottom represent where each image will form. And so the numbers are correlated with each other. If I drew an object at one, its image would have formed at one on the bottom side. If I drew an object at two, its image would form at two, and so on and so forth. And so we need to remember that the left-hand side of our concave mirror will be considered our real side. And the right-hand side will be considered our virtual side. Okay, so for all of the images that will be formed, one through five, we need to remember that all of the images are gonna be real and inverted. So they will be upside down. The next thing to memorize is the size of our images. So as you slide your object closer to the mirror, the image will increasingly get larger. So if I place my object at infinity, our image will appear at F. But our image will be reduced. And so if I place my object at two, the image would form at two at the bottom side. And it would also be reduced, but slightly larger than the image formed when the object was placed at infinity. If I place my object at 2F, our image will appear again at 2F, but this time it will appear as the exact same size. If I place my object at four, the image would appear at four on the bottom side, but this time it will appear magnified. And if you place your object at five, no image would form because it's at infinity, so you, the lines of the ray diagram would never meet. And so this is a great trick to memorize five of the six scenarios for a concave converging mirror. Our images will be real, inverted, and they will either be reduced or magnified. And this depends on the location of the object. As the object gets closer to the mirror, the image will get increasingly magnified. So let's look at our sixth scenario. The sixth scenario is if I were to draw my object in between our focal point and our mirror. Before we had our objects placed over here, the last is the sixth scenario where the object is in between F, our focal point, and our mirror. And so all you have to remember is that if your object is placed in between F and the mirror, is that your image will always be virtual, upright, and magnified. So if your object is placed in between F and the mirror, all you have to remember is that your image will be upright, virtual, and magnified. Okay. Let's look at convex mirrors. So a convex or a diverging mirror has only one scenario. Again, this will be our real side 
This will be our virtual side. If your object is placed on the real side of the convex diverging mirror, all you have to remember is that your image will appear on the virtual side It will be upright and it will be reduced. So if you're given a convex mirror, all you have to remember is that when you place the object on the real side, your image will be virtual, upright, and reduced. The further your object is from the mirror, the smaller your image will be. Okay. So that's all you have to remember for the mirrors. And let's look at a quick summary. So concave mirrors can form magnified or reduced real inverted images. The sixth scenario is where it forms a magnified upright virtual image only. Whereas a convex mirror can only form a reduced upright virtual image. And it's important to note the differences between mirrors and lenses. So in the previous video, we went over lenses and their ray diagrams. The difference between the mirrors and the lenses is that our real and virtual side are flipped from each other. Another thing that's very important to remember and not to get mixed up is that a converging lens is considered a convex lens, but a converging mirror is considered a concave mirror. And a diverging lens is considered a concave lens, but a diverging mirror is considered a convex mirror. So it's important not to mix up these terminologies, especially when you have to remember all the ray diagrams of both mirrors and lenses. So if you learned something and you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like because it helps out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more weekly content. And I hope you have a good day.